have intro music to my own bite. Literally have the Nutcracker soundtrack in my head right now about this plate. Ba, ba, da, 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 ba, ba, really? Ba. Yeah, that's what's, that's what's playing right now. That's how excited I am. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Sarah, and today we're making the gluten-free everything bagel loaf. This loaf is packed with seeds, whole grains, it's super nutrient dense, and it's gonna give you tons of energy. It makes the best toast in the world, and I know you're gonna love it. One of the ingredients in this loaf is an everything bagel spice mix. We need three quarters of a cup of sesame seeds. I'm using a really nice mix of black and brown here but um, any kind is fine. And I'm gonna turn on my skillet, and I want it sort of medium to high heat, but not super high, I don't wanna burn these things. We're using three quarters of a cup of the sesame seed mix, and no oil in the pan, we want a dry skillet. While these are cooking away here, I'm going to mix up my other ingredients. So I have onion flakes, I'm going to use three quarters of a cup of onion flakes. Make sure you're not getting the powder. What we really are looking for are these like crunchy bits. So this is the garlic. I'm gonna use a little less of this, and this is going to be half a cup. It smells so good already. And then half a cup of flaky salt. We're not looking for the fine granules of salt. We want the flaky salt, because again, they're gonna add texture and crunch. Whoops, that's okay. A little extra salt, I'll put a little less in there. I'll go back to my pan here just to check the sesame seeds. Give them a flip. You don't have to do it fancy like me. You can use a spatula or something. Beautiful. All right, so into the bowl. Then, in the same pan, poppy seeds. If you toast these ever so slightly, they also really bring out the flavor. Half cup of poppy seeds. And because this pan is hot, they're gonna cook a little bit faster than the sesame seeds. All right, these are starting to smell super delicious. I'm gonna put them into the pan here. And just give this a little bit of a stir. So, that's it. I'm going to put this into a jar. It smells so good. So, now I have everything set up to make the loaf. I'm going to begin by measuring one cup of hulled but unsalted, unroasted sunflower seeds. There we go. Then half a cup of flax seeds. Flax seeds are really cool. These are sort of gonna act as part of the binder for this loaf. When they're mixed with water, they create a beautiful gel. It's very good for the digestive tract. And half a cup of pumpkin seeds. We have one teaspoon of fine sea salt. Then two tablespoons of chia seeds. Remember, there's no flour in this. So the thing that we really need, this is the secret ingredient. This is called psyllium husk fiber or powder. And this is one of the most absorbent fibers in nature. This is sort of gonna act as our binder in this. Because it absorbs an incredible amount of liquid, it's gonna hold all these seeds and oats together. So that's four tablespoons that we need there. This is one of my favorite things. Talk about a life hack. This is called nutritional yeast. This is an inactive yeast that has this incredible umami flavor. Then we have our everything basil spice. The mix here, we're going to put three tablespoons of this in. This not only adds beautiful texture to the loaf, but an incredible amount of flavor. Lastly, I'm going to add the oats. Now, if you are gluten-free or gluten-sensitive, make sure you're getting gluten-free oats. Give it a mix. Look at these colors, y'all. This is beautiful. Let's do the wet ingredients. This is one and three quarters of a cup of warmish water. Then we have three tablespoons of expeller pressed coconut oil. Expeller pressed is the refined kind, and it's important in this loaf because we don't want it tasting like the tropics. It has no flavor. We don't want to add a coconut flavor to this whatsoever. And then one tablespoon of maple syrup. Give this a stir up. The reason it's important the water is a bit warm is so that the coconut oil doesn't harden and seize up on us. We don't want that. We want it to be totally fluid. And you'll want to stir this relatively quickly because what will happen is that psyllium husk powder 
that very important ingredient, is going to start to suck up all the liquid here. So you'll see it's going to stiffen up relatively quickly. It's thoroughly mixed. I'm going to grab my loaf pan. This is a silicone loaf pan. This is what I prefer to make them in because you can see it's pretty flexible and it makes getting the loaf out of here extremely easy. So now I'm going to smooth the top out. I want it to be even. And I also, while I'm doing this, I'm really compressing the ingredients together. All right, this looks perfect. Last but not least, we're gonna top this with just a tablespoon of the Everything Bagel Mix. But it adds a really beautiful crunch on top and it makes it look pretty. Lastly, I'm just gonna give those a light press just so they're really in there. I'm going to put the loaf in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. And then, here's the tricky part, I'm gonna take it out of the oven and flip it over and put it back in the oven for another 40 minutes. This is so the whole loaf cooks evenly all the way around. Wow. Look at this. Loaf of gorgeousness. This is perfect, this is exactly what we're after. We want the outside to be relatively golden. You can see actually here on the edges, it's really nicely caramelized. This is perfect. Now, here's the challenging part, friends. Do not cut into this loaf until it is completely cool. We're looking at at least an hour, okay? You're gonna have to hang out and go do something else fun. If you cut into it while it's warm, the loaf can fall apart on you. We want this to slice up really nicely, so promise me you'll wait till it's completely cool to do that, and then you can just go to town. I'm back. The loaf is cool. I'm very excited. Look at this interior. Look how, look how beautiful this is. Look at this. When you toast this in a toaster, all of these seeds actually will caramelize a little bit, and my goodness, do they ever taste delicious but it's also really good with something like nut butter and some honey or some maple syrup on top. I love an avocado toast. It's really delicious with some roast vegetables on top. You could even put a little more everything bagel spice on there. So yummy. Let's do this. Mmm, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. The loaf is so chewy and dense. It's giving me life right now. See this little toasty edge? I'm gonna get in there too. Mmm, mmm. I'm getting this amazing savoriness from the garlic and the onion. I got this like cheesy waft from the nutritional yeast. It's super savory. It's so filling. Oh my gosh. Can I please eat the rest of this now? Just look away, look away. That is my gluten-free everything bagel loaf. It is totally life-changing. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> Guys, really, so hungry. Mm. Mm. So yum.